Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. Um, in this presentation, I will be talking very briefly about how to approach a reflective essay. And as you know, in your exam, the first question will be to write a reflective essay on any of the topics that we discussed in the course um, this semester. So just to, to guide you through it, it's not very difficult, but it should follow a specific structure. And before I discuss the structure, I would like to just tell you that in any reflective essay, you will need to express your thoughts, your feelings, your ideas about a specific idea. You also would need to develop and express your opinion on a particular topic. And before you start writing, right, you need um, um, to write perhaps a, um, a rough outline. You need to, to start brainstorming about this topic. Um, perhaps write your proposed thesis and then have a mind map just like this one. You have your thesis right there in the middle and then perhaps you start, you know, um, getting certain ideas, brainstorming the ideas that you would like to discuss here, your main arguments, your main topics, right? And and make sure that, um, oh, you know, you will be asked to write around um, uh, 300, uh, 300 words in your essay. So perhaps you'll be dealing with two paragraphs or three paragraphs. Uh, which corresponds mainly with two points or um, or three points in in your essay. So if you have the luxury uh, to to have you know a pen and a paper with you, perhaps you can do this. If not, perhaps you can start um, um, you know doing this in in your head. You know, thinking about what you need to discuss, thinking about the topic, and thinking about the main ideas and the main points that you would like to discuss in uh, your own uh, paper. So as I said, it will be better if you start planning your um, your essay before you actually put it down. Uh, you can do this in your head. You can do this on a separate piece of paper. You can do this on the computer itself. You know, just write it down somewhere, and then perhaps you can, you know, delete it after. Uh, now, any essay, any academic essay, is divided into three three main parts. The first one is the introduction, al muqaddima, wherein you are going to introduce your main idea. You are going to introduce the topic, right? And then the body paragraphs, you know, what you are going to discuss exactly. And then finally, your conclusion, al khatima, wherein you're going to conclude, you know, and finalize your own essay. Let me start, first of all, with the introduction. Now, the first sentence in the introduction, we refer to it as the hook. Why the hook? Because through this uh, sentence, you're going to grab the attention of the reader, okay? You don't want the reader to be bored, okay, from what his uh, or she is reading so you need to grab the attention of your own readers now your hook i.e the first sentence first two sentences right could be in the form of any of the following could be in the form of a question you can start by asking you know a question that is interesting you know for the readers and therefore they will decide to continue reading your own essay because they are willing perhaps to to see how you will answer that question have you ever been in tv Right. This is a very good hook that grabs the attention of your own readers. Could be also a, a quotation, you know, by someone who's important, like, you know, Rene Descartes, I think, therefore I am or any other quote that is close to the topic that is related to the topic. And at the same time, that would grab the attention of your own readers could be an interesting or a surprising fact. I lost my arm on my last trip home. Now, this is very interesting, right? So the readers would want to continue reading your paper or continue reading your essay in order to know what really happened or how you actually lost your arm on the last trip home. Um, it could be an anecdote. Anecdote means a personal story, right? So for instance, I've never been good at making new friends. The last time I moved cities, I didn't make a single friend for six months. Now, this is a personal story about the topic you're going to discuss. As I said, who could be the first sentence, two sentences, three sentences even, but do not really exceed, you know, three sentences. Otherwise, it is not going to grab their attention, but perhaps it is going to make them feel bored. Or it could be statistics, you know. Again, it is going to be interesting. It is going to be surprising. Um, populations of grasshoppers have increased by... 300% in the last 10 years. Again, your hook has to be directly related to the topic or to the theme that you are going to deal with in your own essay. Then after you finish writing the hook, you need to give some background information about the topic. Okay, just two or three sentences giving some background information about the topic you will be writing about. The last sentence in your own 
introduction is going to be the most important sentence in any essay, which is the thesis statement. The thesis statement is what really tells us what this um, um, essay is going to discuss. Okay, and of course here this is an uh, introduction. Okay, we're still talking about the introduction, right? So the last sentence is going to be the thesis statement. For example, if this is your topic, what do you think are the effects of social media on the society? Okay, this is the topic. So you need, you know, as soon as you see this topic, you need to start asking yourself if you're going to be discussing advantages or disadvantages. Are you going to be discuss, discussing positive effects or negative effects? Okay, and based on this, you're going to see how your essay is going to move along. Okay, right. So why, what, what do you think are the effects of social media on the society? Have a look at this example thesis statement. Using social media can have some adverse effects. So apparently, this person here is going to discuss the negative effects of social media and uh, he's identifying three main ideas it causes cyberbullying compromises education and wastes time okay so if this is your own thesis statement then this means that you're going to be adopting a negative perspective on social media and you are going to uh, to write an essay of mainly three body paragraphs okay why each point is going to be discussed in one separate body paragraph so this is going to be discussed in body paragraph one this is going to be discussed in body paragraph two and this is going to be discussed in body paragraph three okay so this is your thesis statement that ends your introduction so the three elements of the introduction hoop some background information about the topic and then finally your own thesis statement then you need to write your body paragraphs and as i said the number of body paragraphs depends entirely on the uh, number of ideas that you already introduced in your thesis statement, right? Now, in each body paragraph, uh, 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 again, each idea should be developed in a separate body paragraph, as I just explained. Each paragraph should include the following. It should start with a topic sentence that relates to the thesis, then some supporting details developing that topic sentence, giving examples that support that topic sentence, and then finally a concluding sentence, all right? Now, based on this thesis statement, right, the thesis statement that we just discussed, we are going to have three body paragraphs in our essay. And then finally, you have your conclusion. Now, what does the conclusion do? Well, actually, it summarizes the main points discussed in your essay. You can recommend a course of action or you can write an end comment. This end comment could be your own perspective on things, could be a quotation, right? Could be anything. However, it is optional. But the main thing is you summarize the main points discussed in your essay, right? You can start with to conclude in conclusion, right? Or in short, okay? And then start writing, you know, summarizing the main points that you discussed in your own essay. After you write, you, know, you need to do a lot of things after you write, okay? You need to check your essay for the following. It's very important to check your essay for language, for grammar, for spelling. You need to check it for coherence and cohesion, that the whole essay discusses, you know, one topic. It is coherent, it is easy to read. Right, you use some coherence markers uh, um, um, in order to make it more unified. So, if you want to add an idea, you can use how, you can use moreover, furthermore, besides. You want to deal with a contrasting point. You can say nevertheless, nonetheless, but yet, however. Right, to conclude at the end, in short, to summarize. Right, all of this adds to the uh, uh, coherence and cohesion of your own essay. You need also to take extra care of your punctuation, so capital letters, um, full stops, commas, colons, semicolons, and so on and so forth. And of course, don't forget to indent before each paragraph, okay? Before you start each paragraph, you need to leave a space, right, to indicate that this is a new paragraph. Um, wish you all the best. Thank you very much.